In the last video, we determined that an iterative reduction formula for the integral i n equals the integral of x to the n e to the x dx is given by i n equals x to the n e to the x minus n i to the n minus 1. So now, how should we go about finding i1? From the formula, we can see that i1 equals x to the 1 e to the x minus 1 multiplied by i0. However, we do not know what i0 is, and hence we must determine the base case i0. We were given that i n equals the integral of x to the n e to the x dx. So that means that i0 equals the integral of x to the 0 e to the x dx, or simply the integral of e to the x dx, or simply e to the x plus c. And hence that means that i1 equals x e to the x minus 1 by i0, which is e to the x plus c, which we can tidy up to simply give us e to the x to x minus 1 plus some constant d, where d is minus c. In the last example, we determined that the iterative formula for the related indefinite integral was given by i n equals x to the n e to the x minus n i n minus 1. Hence, including the limit here, we have that i n equals the limits from 0 to 1 of x to the n e to the x minus n i n minus 1. So 1 to the power of n by e to the 1 minus 0 to the power of n e to the 0 minus n i n minus 1. So we have 1 to the power of n, which is 1, by e to the 1, minus 0 to the power of n, which is 0. So minus 0, minus n, i to the n minus 1, or simply e to the 1, minus n, i n minus 1. Now to calculate i2, we need i1. And to calculate i1, we need the base case i0. So i0 equals the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the 0, e to the x, dx. x to the 0 is simply 1, so we have the integral of from 0 to 1 of e to the x, dx. So we integrate e to the x to get e to the x, the limits from 0 to 1. So we have e to the 1 minus e to the 0, which is simply 1. Now i1 equals e to the 1 minus n, which is 1, by i0. So we have e to the 1 minus 1 by e to the 1 minus 1. So we have e to the 1 minus e to the 1 plus 1, simply giving us 1. And then finally, i2 equals e to the 1 minus n, which is 2, by i1. So e to the 1 minus 2 by i1, which is 1. So simply e to the 1 minus 2.